What do you say his name was? Hey! What's up, my peoples? Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Galvatron. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at... The baggage right up front here. We have Galvatron looking all Galvatron. -y. Hey, look, his name is Galvatron Transformers. On the side of the box, we have Galvatron. On this side of the box, we have Galvatron's beautiful mug. He is a Voyager class, a class of Voyager, Voyager class A, class of Yahid, and a class A Voyager. Up top, Transformers Age of Extinction. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And you have a very brief bio. If you want to read it in multiple languages, hooray for languages and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Galvatron as he appeared in Transformers Age of Extinction. And behold, Galvatron. Here he is in robot mode as he was packed. And let's get in closer so we can take a look not at his Galva crotch, but at the Galva noggin as the Galva noggin. As you can see, a pretty nicely done face sculpt there. I mean, Galvatron had a weird face in the first place, so you know what? It works. It works. Are you doing some nice silver paint here? Also some nice metallic colors as well, like a metallic teal going on in there. You do get some silver paint throughout on the figure. Not a lot. I wish there was more, but it is what it is. We do get a lot of nice detail going on here. On the figure itself, though, he does have the hole in his chest. You know, you could, you could, you know, put a sword in there because he has no soul. That's why he has no fear, and he also has no burritos. But anyway, moving down the legs here, getting lots of nice detail. You get some silver paints here and there. Some more of those metallic paint apps going down the legs. His big old feet, no toesies. And moving up the back, it's a pretty clean transformation. Not too bad, a little bit of detail back here. You got some of that bronzy, coppery color in the back, so you can see. Not a whole lot going on backpack-wise, which is quite nice. But overall, not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head, I think the head is on a ball joint, but just due to the shape of everything, you got minimal wiggly-waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit, head you can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrists, unfortunately. Uh, you do have waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far. You can do the big boots back that far. Outward. You can get about that far. You have thigh rotation. You have a bit over 90 degrees of bend at the knee, the feet. Um, they cannot move up, they cannot move down. Well, they can move down at this hinge, but that's more for transformation. But I guess you can use that for some posing if you need to. And you have lots of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include a little hand cannon right here, just done all in silver. There's some nice detail going on here. You can see totally painted. In silver, you also get a little missile cluster here, just cast in black. And those are all the accessories that you get. You can take the hand cannon here and just plug it right into his hand, where hand cannons tend to go. And there you go. He can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff. You can take the missiles here, and you have a tab and a slot on either forearm here, so you can plug it on whichever arm you want. Plug it in like so. So some more pew pew bang bang, pew pew and bang bang, and all of that. Now you can store the missiles on his person if you wish. You can just open up his chest, and yes, his chest is hollow, you know why? Because he has no soul. Which is why, coincidentally, no fear. That's how it works. You just plug that right in there, close that up, and voila, there is your storage. Hooray, hooray for storage. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with Studio Series Lockdown. And Stinger with Studio Series Prime. Here he is with the Last Night Voyager Prime. Mine has some stickers and some third-party add-ons, but just so you can see how that works out. And that works out 
pretty well. Not too bad. And with Studio Series Megs. And with Studio Series Megs. And with Studio Series Megs. And here he is with the original Age of Extinction Voyager Galvatron. So you can see how that works out. And I think the Studio Series version looks a bit better. Again, wish there was more silver paint on him, but I feel like he definitely cleans up a lot better. He doesn't have, you know, the flattened out cab on his back, so they did a better job here with the engineering, in my opinion. So overall, I think the Studio Series one is a bit better. And even though I don't like doing this, because, you know, it's kind of pointless, but I don't have too many of these uh, Galvatrons here, so we'll bring in the Unique Toys Galvatron, just so you can see how that works out. And while we're up here, here he is with Studio Series Grimlock. So, there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's... So, first thing we're going to do to get him into alt mode here is we're going to rotate the arms 180 and then just fold them up like that. Rotate the arm, fold that up like so. Then you're going to open up his chest, just bring that down, come back here to this back panel, and undo that, bring that down. Uh, you're then going to rotate his head around. You want to unclip the shoulders here. Just bring them out about halfway right now. Then you're gonna take this whole section here, bring this up and over, which will take the head with it. Make sure the head is straight. Bring that around. You have a little tab slot connection right here. Just tab that in like so. Then you're gonna take the arms and just Swing them in like that. And once you've done that, you want to rotate the forearms in. And you don't want them overlapping. You basically want them like that. Because if you have them any other way, things are going to get things are going to collide and keep things from lining up. So that's the way you want that sitting. So once you've done that, take these little side panels here, flip that up, flip that up, and then bring all of this up and over, it's on a double hinge, just make sure you got everything lined up just right. Get little tabs here, that will connect on either side. And then you take this little black panel and just bring that down, that'll cover up the hands. So we have that bit all done, so now we're going to move on to the lower body. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to unclip his waist here. Like so, and one thing to note also, I just thought this was precious, they even they even detailed his butt. He even has some butt detail. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Anyway, so <laughs> now we're going to work on the legs. So you want to come back here to this panel, just bring that out. You can bring this foot down just a little bit so you have just clearance to bring this up, and then you want to swing this out like that. Bring the foot back up for now. You want to split his toes, split his whole foot in half like that, bring it down, Take this wheel, swing that out, then you want to bring the foot up and then rotate this entire assembly up like so, and then this toe will just fold in like that. And you got that side all done for now. Now second vase is just like the first, just open that up, bring that up, swing that out, split the foot, bring it down so you can swing that wheel out. Bring this up, rotate this up, bring that wheel in, and we are good to go. So now you want to take these sections here, and they're going to go over this panel here. So it helps if you bend the knee, so just bring that up and over, and all that will just sit in there. You have a little T-tab that will go into this section here. You have a tab that will go right in here, so you want to kind of get that lined up first. And then once you do that, you just kind of push that all in. And that should all line up just like that. And same thing on the other side, just kind of use that knee to help you get this panel up and over that section there. And then you can swing this down, make sure you tab in that front section, get everything lined up all nice like. There we go. 
This I usually likes to fight me, but today you cooperated. Yay! Thank you for cooperating. I appreciate your cooperation. There you go. So we got that situated. Now that we've done that, you want to take these wheels and rotate them forward. Take them and rotate them forward. Now you're going to bring this assembly down on this double hinge. Like so. Just make sure all that lines up. And you have two tabs right here for these two slots right here. Just line it up and tab it in, tab it in, tab it in, tab it in. That will lock all of that in place right there like that. Let me just kind of get in here and straighten this back out. There we go. We got things a little better lined up. So last thing we got to do, take this section here, swing it around. There's a tab and a little notch right here for it to sit into. Just bring that around and bring that around. Tab all of this together back here like so. And just make sure everything is nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have Galvatron in his alt mode. You get a real good spin out of him. <laughs> there he is in truck mode. And he looks good, nice and Galvatron-y like in the movie. I can work with it. I can work with it. Let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. And you got some silver right up front here. Lights up front, picked out with some paint. You get the metallic teal in there as well. Black there for the windshield, some black up top. Silver going down the sides. And yes, you do have his uh, his robot mode feet are just kind of hanging out back here. That's not the most elegant thing in the world, but oh well, it is what it is. I mean, it's not, it's, it's yeah, it's kind of an eyesore, but you know, oh well. All in all, though, not too shabby. There is the top. There is the bottom. He does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray, hooray for rolling. And for comparison, we're going to keep this brief. Uh, here he is with the Studio Series Prime. With the last night's Voyager Prime. So you can see how that works out. And with the original Age of Extinction, Voyager Galvatron. So you can see how that works out. You can see who's who, what's what, where's why, and why's how. And you can see how they look side by side. So, there you go. Now as far as storage for your accessories... There are some things we can do here. Uh, you do have this tab here on the side of the cannon. You have slots right here on either side. So you can totally plug that in here. Take one of the missile racks. Well, there's only one missile rack. Why am I saying one of the missile racks? The only missile rack. You can take that, plug that in there, and you can have that going on. Things you can do if you want to do it. And I just noticed, I don't know if these are meant for this. There's slots up there. Does that work? Nope, doesn't hold. Uh, they kind of hold. Nah, not really. I just noticed those now. Don't know if those were a thing. Maybe it is. I don't know. Nah, not really. Probably not. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so that's one thing you can do. But we can store this inside the truck as well. We can open up this panel. And you can see in here there's a little tab right in there that will go into this notch here. So you can just take this and just drop that down in there. Like that and just store that in there and close it all back up so you can store that out of the way if you wish now as far as the arm cannon goes uh, the best way to do this is to split the legs i found so basically what you want to do is you want to sit this right in if you look and see right here there is a a slot right Right here, I don't know if you can see it. It's right, it's right there. <laughs> it's right, let's flip it over. There you go, you can maybe see it right there. This slot right here is where this is gonna sit into. You're gonna use this tab right here. So it goes in at an angle, and again, I found the best way to do this is to just split the legs and just kind of slide this in from the side like so, and then just close all that back up. 
like that. And that's where that sits, and that's where I can store nice and out of the way. So, hey, it's storage. If you want storage, hooray for storage. And, of course, the last thing to talk about is the included base of displayage that resides within the box. Pull this out. Get out of my life. Open that up. And now we have Hong Kong getting blown up. <laughs> I mean, how this works. 90 Studio Series, Age of Extinction logo down there, Transformers, all that good stuff. Oh, uh, you can take your Galvatron, plop him down. And as always, hey, display options, and as always, display options are good. So there you have Galvatron, and uh, yeah, nicely done figure in my opinion. Um, you know, I, I wish it had some more silver paint on it, really could use it. But still some nice sculpting, nice detailing there throughout the figure. He does handle the engineering better in some aspects than the original Age of Extinction Voyager figure. Um, I mean, granted, he does have the robot mode toes just kind of hanging out in the back of the truck, which is kind of an eyesore, but it is what it is. So there is kind of a trade-off between the two. But the transformation is smooth, fluid, enjoyable, a little bit of fiddle factor, just getting, you know, those panels lined up in the front. But nothing to a frustrating degree, all in all. Nicely done figure, in my opinion. Of course, you know, always room for improvement, but for the most part, nicely done figure as far as I'm concerned. So, there you go! Now, Amazon just got this guy in stock, as well as BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Galvatron. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! Stop right there! Wait, don't... Don't I know you? No? No, you seem... You seem familiar. I, I don't know what you're talking about. No, no, I know I know you from somewhere. Come on. Give me a hint. I... I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, complete stranger whom I've never met. I've never seen you before a day in my life. Seriously, though, you remind me of someone whose head I ripped off. Yeah, that freaking hurt. What? Nothing.